Hi, my name is Lad Forslein. I'm with Colorfin, the co-inventor, co-manufacturers of uh, pan pastels and soft tools. Today we're going to show you a few techniques with soft tools that you can do with, uh, with pastel pencils, pastels, acrylics, and watercolors. Um, soft tools are uh, a unique product. We've made these especially for pan pastel, but we found that they work great with water-based uh, mediums. One of the advantages of the soft tools is that they're made out of a very dense, small pore, uh, foam and what that does is it lets you pick up the material on the surface and not soak up so fast into the sponge I'm going to just take a, um, a couple of quick brief uh, strokes of uh, acry acrylic straight out of the tube And I'm just going to put these down on uh, on some uh, canvas pad One of the things you can see is that the uh, material is going down very thin and with very uh, little uh, marks or brush strokes. When you, um, when you need to change colors with this tool, you can wash it off in a, in a uh, pot of water. It's going to take a little bit of time to, to uh, get the color out, so I'd, I'd recommend just using the opposite edge of it or another tool. You can see one of the advantages is that you really, there's no brush strokes and you're using all the paint. You can get very thin layers of acrylic paint without mixing a medium in with it. We've also got another uh, range of tools which are uh, the knives. The knives have these little uh, corresponding covers and the, the covers are, um, are numbered one to four. The knives are numbered one to four. So the four, the four tip fits the four knife. These are great for doing some smaller detailed work. You can go back in and do a little bit of impasto work if you need to. It's, what's nice about it is it works like an absorbent palette knife. So it's, uh, instead of just having that hard edged uh, steel palette knife, you've actually got a nice soft little cushion that you can work with. The next thing I'm going to show you is uh, how you can use some watercolors with the, uh, with the uh, soft tools. This is just a um, sheet of, of uh, watercolor paper. I'm going to wet down the uh, top portion of the, of the paper with a brush so I can show you what it's like with wet on wet technique. And the bottom part I'll leave uh, dry so you can see what the, uh, how the tools work. This is just a sponge bar that we call these. These are uh, in four different shapes. There's a point, there's a round, there's a flat, and there's a filbert. Very similar to brush shapes. It's the same shapes that the knives are corresponding to. I'm going to just dip this in water. You'll notice that when you dip it in water, there's not, the water doesn't absorb to the sponge. It's called it's hydrophobic, and it basically repels water slightly. I'm going to go into the wet and wet surface here. And you can see you get some, you get some, very, some similar marks to a brush. However, there's no brush strokes at all. And what's really nice about this is um, by angling the tool slightly, you can actually go in and almost erase or push some of the paint to create some uh, defined definitions and high lines, highlights. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with a different color on a, on a uh, dry surface so you can see how that works. You get a little bit more opaque mark, mark making the uh, watercolor can be controlled a bit more like tube watercolor, straight off the pan. And then again, just by adding a little bit of water to it, you can loosen up the surface, move the material around. The edge of the, the, edge of the tool works great like a squeegee. It almost cuts the material off of the surface. The other tools, um, the other pan pastel and uh, soft tools, you can uh, use the edges of those and do some experimenting for gestural marks by rolling the tools left to right. It really is, uh, uh, works like a sort of an absorbent finger. And uh, with charcoal pencil, this is uh, just a, a standard charcoal pencil. One of the things that's great with the tools is you can use it for uh, softening and blending the lines. I'm going to just take a number, a number one knife here, again, with the we, uh, foam cover on top. And I'm going to roll it over and just use the, the uh, edge of it. And you can really get in and do some nice detailed work with the uh, charcoal. Again, also, if you, want, if you want to block in a larger area, 
you can uh, you can lay down a, a larger area of charcoal and then use the um, the uh, soft knives for smoothing and blending those. The uh, the foam's really nice because it's a little bit forgiving, so it's um, it's not a hard surface to work with. You have a little bit of bounce and a little bit of uh, forgiveness when you're working with the material. That's it for the uh, demonstration on the soft tools. I uh, hope you enjoy them. Please try them with pan pastel and some other mediums. Thanks very much.